the most amazing food wrap ever developed, Saran Wrap. That's right. There's nothing like Saran Wrap. Presenting the possibilities of plastics. Plastics help save you from dents and broken bones. It helps protect my patella. They help save energy. Thin light plastics, fewer trucks, less gas. Saran Wrap clings like magic. Just press it into place over any bowl or dish, and it stays. You have a smooth, tight cover that keeps flavor locked in. Plastics can even help save toddlers from trouble. And this vest helps save my dad's life. Plastics, Plastics make, make it, it possible. possible. Pick up a roll of Saran Wrap today in the blue and yellow box. You'll love it. Get Saran Wrap at your grocer's. Saran Wrap is a product of the Dow Chemical Company. We are rolling. Um, today is November 12th, 2020, and I'm here at Belmont Shore, which is a local beach in Long Beach where I live. And I'm here because although this is a beach, it's right next to the Long Beach uh, port. So, this beach isn't usually used by many people to have fun in the summer and go in the water and stuff like that. It's a beach where we do a lot of beach cleanups because of all of the uh, trash that comes in from the port. So I'm here and I'm gonna walk around and I'm just gonna see what I find. So you can come along with me. Right as I got out of my car, I noticed all of the trash that was along the side of the street and it made me really nervous to the things that I would find actually on the beach. Unfortunately, my assumptions were correct. As I walked up and down this beach, I saw so much trash. I picked up everything that I saw, thankfully, but I had never really focused on the trash and waste left on the beach till now. And what's even scarier news to me is knowing that this is the community that I live in. Honestly, after a while, it seemed like I was walking up and down this beach for hours until a thought popped into my head. With so much plastic in the ocean, it can't all just be from litter on the beach. So where else is it coming from? All right, well, I'm in a riverbed, <laughs> and the reason I'm here is because these riverbeds and waterways in the LA County and the Long Beach area, they feed the rainwater and the water taken from areas that usually flood directly into the ocean. It's a good idea, you know, keep our city from flooding. The bad part is a lot of trash and a lot of debris gets transported through these waterways into the ocean. This is the moment as I sat in this nasty riverbed where I started to get really in my head about all of the plastic we buy in stores, use once, and then throw away. So the next day after I got off of work, I went to one of my local grocery stores to take a little bit of a closer look, specifically at the produce section within the store. When I tell you I was so overwhelmed walking around the Stater Brothers, I am not exaggerating. Besides the weird looks people were giving me for recording and taking pictures of fruits and vegetables, the thought of animals consuming any of these plastics was just lingering in the back of my mind. I wanted to get another person's perspective on this whole issue, so I talked to my friend Josiah Brodrick, who is studying marine biology at Long Beach City College. So how did you establish your connection to the ocean? Like, did you have any experiences as a child that influenced you to study marine biology? So it was probably back when I was um, around three years old and I was just interested in all these um, animals and where they came from. And I wanted to find out more about them. And so my mom would actually get books from the library and we'd read about them. And just from there, I started to grow um, a stronger connection and a a larger interest in these animals and where they came from. 
I had to cut a lot of this conversation out, but Josiah and I began to talk about specifically how marine animals are being affected by plastics and microplastics within the ocean. So a perfect example of that is whenever there are plastics or microplastics out in the ocean, sometimes what will end up happening is that an animal, let's just say a fish, for example, will end up consuming that plastic. And one of two things will end up happening. Uh, the animal can end up ingesting it, and then the animal thinks that it's full because it's consuming all this plastic inside of its stomach, and it's not able to digest it all. So then the animal can actually end up dying of starvation, and this can happen to all marine life. Another thing that can end up happening as well is, let's use the fish as, another, as the example again, is a fish will end up consuming the plastic, and then let's just say a bird, for example, will end up eating that fish. And from the fish, it can end up affecting other animals as well because it just ends up being passed on and passed on and passed on throughout the food chain. And the same thing goes for humans. Pretty much all of the seafood we eat has consumed some type of plastic. So with plastic pollution not only being a hazardous problem for marine life, the chemicals and toxic elements within these plastics are finding their way back to us. It is December 8th, 2020, and I am back here at Belmont Shore where I started this project. Uh, doing this has really opened my eyes to the severity of plastic pollution in the ocean and microplastics and all of it. <laughs> the statistic of there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish by 2050. Seems to be more and more unrealistic as time goes on because I personally think it'll be sooner. There are solutions happening. There are things that are allowing us to make progress on this issue, like the company for ocean I reached out to them and they gave me some answers to the questions I asked and I really appreciated it. They're doing great work. Another place that's doing great work is in my own city. It's called Bring Your Own Long Beach. It is a plastic free shop and they focus on sustainability and providing products that are sustainable alternatives to ordinary plastic products can bring your own bottles and jars and they will refill them with a variety of products that you may need. I think the most important thing right now is just trying to be the best ally you can to the environment around us because like I said there's not much time left. Think about what you can do in your own community, in your own household to really make a change. Oh.